Look out! That baby rhino is charging! For a hug! <laughs> because even though Meringue is a rhino, he enjoys pets like a puppy. And sitting in laps like a puppy. Though he's a bit too big for that. And he loves his rescuers. Like they were his parents. Because in many ways, they kinda are. You see, Meringue's lived at this sanctuary for basically his whole life. Meringue was only a few days old when rescuers found him, all alone, with no mama rhino to take care of him. So they brought him back to the sanctuary, where he would be safe until he was old enough to live in the wild. But when he first got there, Meringue wasn't feeling safe. He'd never been around humans before. He was so nervous, he had to wear a blindfold just to keep from freaking out. Ah! But the rescuers knew what to do. They cuddled with him, just like a mama rhino would to soothe her cub. And it worked! Once he started feeling better, Meringue decided to stop hiding and start exploring. But he was still a little nervous. After all, he'd never really been anywhere. So far, this seems okay. <laughs> this smells nice. This feels nice. Furry little rhino, do you want to be my friend? Meringue, she's a goat. But good news, you can definitely be friends. Meringue was really loving this place and his human friends. I mean, just look at this blanket they gave him. In fact, he liked it here so much, he started to wonder if maybe he should just stay here forever. But this was a rhino sanctuary, not a rhino forever home. Rhinos are supposed to live in the wild, which meant Meringue needed to learn how to be a wild rhino. And it was up to his rescuers to show him how. The first step was mud wallowing, AKA mud baths. Something all rhinos need to do to keep their skin healthy. Meringue was like, you want me to do what? Blah. So instead, the rescuers got buckets of mud and rubbed it all over his body. Meringue was like, this isn't gross at all. This is amazing. But there's a lot more to being a rhino than getting muddy. Next, it was time for his first bushwalk, which meant going outside the sanctuary walls, like into the wild. Even though it was just for practice, Meringue started to feel nervous again. But when he got outside and saw all the open space, he started running and couldn't stop. He was having too much fun. So his rescuers decided he was ready for the most important part of his rhino training, hanging out with other rhinos. And they had found the perfect someone to be his first rhino friend. Meringue, meet your new big sister, Katie. But Meringue wasn't exactly thrilled. In fact, he was kind of scared. Did he really need rhino friends? He had great human friends. Humans who fed him and petted him and took him for bushwalks and gave him mud baths and blankets. His life was just fine without rhinos. Thank you very much. But luckily for Meringue, Katie didn't give up that easily. She visited him every day for two whole weeks until he felt brave enough to play with her. And once he did, Meringue couldn't get enough. He wanted to play with Katie all the time. It turned out getting a big sister was the best thing that had ever happened to him. That is, until he got another sister. Meringue, meet your new little sister, Eve. This time, Meringue wasn't nervous at all. Because getting two sisters was definitely the best thing that had ever happened to him. Well, until he got a brother, too. That's right, Meringue, meet Beckham. And just like that, Meringue was part of a big, loving rhino family. Which is when he started to realize that even though the sanctuary would always be a part of him, he really did want to be a wild rhino. So he decided he was going to keep learning and practicing with his brothers and sisters. And someday, when they were ready, they would all go back to the wild together. But today, they're just gonna enjoy a good old-fashioned 
no bucket mud wallow. It's a wild rhino thing. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.